Alkmaar Zonstreet KMA or Zonster K, better known as Oz Alkmaar or simply Oz, is a Dutch professional football club from Alkmaar and the Zonstreek. The club plays in the Eredivisie, the highest professional football league in the Netherlands, and hosts home matches at the Efe Stadion. Oz has won the Eredivisie twice, in 1980-81 and 2008-09. In the same season as their first league title, they also reached the UEFA Cup final, which they lost to Ipswich Town. In addition, the team has won the KNVB Cup on four occasions and won Johan Cruyff Shield. Oz was founded on May 10, 1967 as Oz 67, the result of a merger of Alkmaar 54 and FC Zonstreek. Alkmaar 54 was founded as a professional team in April 1954 to play in the 10-team NBVB League, created because the KNVB refused to organize a professional league. Alkmaar 54, and by extension Oz, played the very first professional match in the Netherlands, on August 14, 1954, they won 3-0 at home against Venlo 54, with Klaus Smit scoring the first goal. After winning the Eerste Divisie in 1960-61, it played one year in the Eredivisie. FC Zonstreek had been playing since 1910 as the Cougar Football Club. KFC had nearly become national champion in 1934 through a narrow loss to Ajax in the finals. The team became professional in 1955. In 1964 the professional part of KFC was renamed FC Zonstreek, while the amateurs played on as KFC. Also in 1964, the brothers Seas and Klaus Molinar, former players and trainers for KFC and owners of a growing appliance store chain, sought to create a powerful football team in Zonstreek by merging the two local professional teams, KFC and Zonlinski Football Club. After the ZFC leadership thwarted this attempt, the Molinars successfully merged FC Zonstreek with Alkmaar 54 in 1967. FC Zonstreek had finished 7th and Alkmaar 54 12th in 1966-67 Erste Divisie. The team would be based in Alkmaar, though the second team originally trained and played in Kugon de Zon. Partially through the hiring of expensive foreign players, the new club soon acquired large debts. In 1972, the Molinar brothers bailed it out and invested heavily in the club, to the point that Oz 67 were successful in the late 1970s and early 80s. Regularly playing European football from 1977 to 1982 while also winning three KNVB Cups over that period. After four close league campaigns, Oz finally became Dutch champions in 1981, becoming the only team other than the big three of Ajax, Feyenoord and PSV to do so in a 44-year period spanning from 1965 to 2009. They won the title with overwhelming power, winning 27 of 34 matches and only losing once while scoring a club record 101 goals and conceding just 30. That same season, Oz reached the final of the UEFA Cup, losing 5-4 on aggregate to Ipswich Town. The next year, in the European Cup, they lost in the second round 3-2 on aggregate to Liverpool. Georg Kessler was Oz's manager over most of these years, while star players included, Kies Kist, the club's highest ever goal scorer with 212 goals and the first ever Dutchman too. Win the European Golden Boot in 1979 when he scored 34 goals in a season, Jan Peters, who played 120 matches for Oz during this period scoring 30 goals from midfield, and Hugo Hovenkamp, who played 239 matches in defence for Oz from 1975 to 1983, as well as receiving 31 caps for the Netherlands national team from 1977 to 1983 and playing each match in UEFA Euro 1980 while an Oz player. Additional stars included John Meatgod, who spent six years at Oz playing 195 matches as a defender, scoring 26 goals including a goal against Ipswich Town in the final of the UEFA Cup. Like Hovenkamp, Meatgod was also included in the Dutch squad for Euro 1980. Meanwhile, Danish forward Kristen Niegaard spent 10 years at Oz, scoring 104 goals in 363 matches between 1972 and 1982. Co-owner Cees Molinar died in 1979. Oz's fortunes deteriorated after his brother, Klaus Molinar, left the club in 1985. After several mid-table finishes in previous seasons, Oz was relegated in 1988 from the Eredivisie, ending the season on 28 points from 34 matches and falling to the Eerste Divisie due to the superior goal. Difference of Rota JC this relegation was significant since it occurred just seven years after the club's historic domestic double and marked the end of Oz's first period of success in Dutch football. Following this, Oz spent much of the next decade in the second tier, struggling to find a return to the top flight. 
The involvement of businessman Dirk Skuringa in the mid-1990s marked the revival of the club as Oz returned to the Eredivisie, winning the 1997-98 Heirs to Devisi title. The club achieved consecutive finishes around the middle positions in the league until ending up in third place in the 2004-05 Eredivisie season, Oz's highest position for 23 years. In the summer of 2006, the club moved to a new 17,000-capacity stadium, Ashtadion. Despite playing strongly for the majority of the 2006-07 season, Oz's season ended in disappointment. First, entering the last match day of the 2006-07 Eredivisie season, Oz led PSV and Ajax on goal difference at the top of the league table. But ended up third after losing their last match against 16th place team Excelsior Arizona played with 10 men for 80 minutes. Additionally Arizona then lost the KNVB Cup final to Ajax 8-7 after a penalty shootout while also falling to Ajax over two playoff matches for participation in the Champions League. After the season, key players like Tim DeClaire, Danny Coevermans and Shota Arvalaje left the team. Oz vs Larissa in a 2007-08 UEFA Cup match A remarkable run ended in the 2007-08 season, after Oz lost a group stage match against Everton in the UEFA Cup, the club's unbeaten run of 32 home matches in European competitions, lasting from 1977 to 2007, ended. Oz had a poor season, suffering elimination in the first round of the KNVB Cup and the group stage of the UEFA Cup, as well as finishing the 2007-08 Eredivisie in a disappointing 11th place. Towards the latter stages of the season, in March 2008, Oz manager Louis van Gaal had initially tendered his resignation, but after protests the players and directors, he rescinded his resignation. The 2008-09 season had an unpromising start after two opening defeats against Nac Breda and Adu Den Haag. However, starting with a 1-0 victory over defending league champions PSV, Oz did not lose a match in its next 28 matches, including a run of 11 straight matches where Oz did not concede an opposition goal. Three weeks before the end of the season, Oz became Eredivisie champions, edging nearest title rivals Twente and Ajax comfortably. This was a historic achievement for the club as this was the first title-winning season for 28 years, and it also meant a return to the UEFA Champions League. Being league champions, us qualified for the Champions League for only the second time. It was drawn into a group alongside Arsenal FC, Standard Liège and Olympiakos but only took four points from six matches and finished bottom of their group. For the 2009-10 season, Ronald Koeman succeeded Louis van Gaal, who had departed to manage Bayern Munich after leading Oz to the championship. Komen was officially hired on May 17, 2009, but on 5 December Arizona announced he was no longer in charge of the club after losing seven of his first 16 matches. Former Rangers and Zenit St. Petersburg manager Dick Advocat took over for the remainder of the season. Under Advocat Arizona achieved solid results and secured European football for the next season. For the 2010-11 season, Oz appointed Gert-Jan Verbeek as its new manager. They finished the 2010-11 Eredivisie in fourth place, thus securing Europa League football for the next season, while in the KNVB Cup Arizona reached the last eight, where they were beaten by rivals Ajax by a 1-0 scoreline. Oz also finished third in their Europa League group, thus failing to qualifying for the competition's knockout round. In the 2011-12 season, Oz finished fourth in the Eredivisie, though performed significantly better in cup competitions, reaching the semi-finals in the KNVB Cup and the quarter-finals in the Europa League. In the latter, the club ultimately lost to Valencia after having defeated Udinese, Anderlecht, Malmo FF, Austria Wien, medalist Kharkiv, Olesun and Baumit Jablonek to reach that stage. On December 21, 2011, during the quarter-finals of the 2011-12 KNVB Cup, a 19-year-old Ajax fan invaded the Amsterdam Marina pitch in the 36th minute with Ajax winning 1-0, attacking us goalkeeper Esteban Alvarado. The fan slipped and Alvarado kicked the fan twice, prompting the referee to issue the goalkeeper a red card. Following this, us manager Gert Jan Verbeek ordered his players to leave the pitch for the dressing room in protest. The match was later played on January 19, 2012, with Alvarado's red card rescinded, us won 3-2. The 2012-13 season started in the Europa League with a qualifying playoff round against Gus hitting Sanzi Makashkala. Oz was hammered 6-0 on aggregate. Disappointingly Arizona finished 10th in the 2012-13 Eredivisie, although the club won the 2012-13 KNVB Cup after defeating PSV 2-1 in the final. As cup winners, 
Oz automatically qualified for the 2013-14 Europa League. In September 2013, just one day after emphatically beating PSV, at the time the league leaders, Verbeek was dismissed as first-team manager by the club due to a lack of chemistry between management and players. He was replaced by Dick Advocat for the remainder of the season until a permanent replacement could be found. Advocat took Oz to the semi-finals of the KNVB Cup, the quarter-finals of the Europa League and eighth in the league, ultimately losing to Groningen in the Europa League playoff final round. The 2014-15 season began with a new manager, former Heron Vane manager and Ajax great Marco Van Basten. However, after just three matches into the season, Van Basten resigned as manager to become assistant manager under Alex Postor, citing heavy stress as the main reason. Postor was the interim manager during two matches under Van Basten's absence and received the official title on 16th of September, but contract negotiations failed and he left the club just two days later. A week later, John Van Den Brom was appointed manager. Under Van Den Brom, Arizona quickly rose up to the subtop, eventually finished the season in third place, surpassing Feyenoord on the final season's match day and qualifying for the 2015-16 Europa League. The 2015-16 Eredivisie started with us selling most of its first team players from the previous season during the summer transfer period. As a response, Oz bought players from other Dutch clubs, notably Vincent Janssen from Almera City. Ala Reza Jahanbeks from NEC and Ben Reenstra from Pex Vala. In December, it was announced free agent Ron Vlar signed a contract until the end of the season after training with the club for a few weeks prior. Vlar quickly became team captain and helped lift Oz from 10th place to a 4th place finish in the league. Along this rise, new signing Vincent Jansen scored 27 goals for the club, earning him the Eredivisie top goalscorer title. In the 2015-16 KNVB Cup Arizona made it to the semifinals, losing 3-1 to Feyenoord. Oz won the first two qualification rounds to qualify for the 2015-16 Europa League group stage, but finished last in their group. At the start of the 2016-17 Eredivisie Arizona sold last season's performer Vincent Jansen to Tottenham Hotspur and longtime midfielder Marcus Henriksen to Hull City. In the 2016-17 Europa League Arizona finished second in Group D, surviving the group stage for the third time in five seasons. After an excellent 2019-20 season in which has beat league leaders Ajax home and away, aided by consistent performances from youth academy talents such as Toon Koopminers. Myron Bodu, Calvin Stengs, and Owen Windle, the season was forced to end early due to the effects of the COVID-19 pandemic. Joined on points with Ajax at the top of the table, Oz were given second place on goal difference, and subsequently earned qualification to the Champions League second qualifying round. A poor start to their 2020-21 Eredivisie campaign saw Oz draw five games in a row, before eventually picking up a victory against RKC Walwauk on 1 November 2020. Oz also struggled in the European competitions, they started well with a 3-1 extra time comeback against Victoria Pilsen in the Champions League qualifiers but a few weeks later lost 2-0 to Dynamo Kiev, seeing them fall back into the Europa League. After victory against Napoli and Rijeka early in the pool stages Oz looked on good course to progress, but after losing to Real Sociedad away, and the reverse fixture ending in a 0-0 draw, Oz's job was more difficult. A 1-1 draw with Napoli, meant that all that had to be done to progress was to win away to Rijeka. However the departure the week before the game of manager Arne Slot, saw an unorganized team lose 2-1 to Rijeka, ending their European dream. Note, flags indicate national team as defined under FIFA eligibility rules. Players may hold more than one non-FIFA nationality. Note, flags indicate national team as defined under FIFA eligibility rules. Players may hold more than one non-FIFA nationality. Note, Flags indicate national team as defined under FIFA eligibility rules. Players may hold more than one non-FIFA nationality. Participating in the Erste Devisi, the reserve squad of Oz trains and plays their home games in Zonstadt. Afishtadion Arizona's home venue in Alkmaar, Arizona play its home matches at the Afishtadion, located in the southern part of the city of Alkmaar. The stadium, which is directly owned by the club, was opened in 2006 and replaced the old Alkmaar Hout venue as the DSB Stadion. The stadium currently has a capacity of 17,023. During its design stages, the name Victory Stadion was frequently used, referring to the Dutch War of Independence, the phrase in Alkmaar begin to victory in particular. Until now, this name has not been officially in use, 
the board instead opting for sponsorship deals because of financial motives. However, to this day, the name maintains a good share of support among the fans. To further increase revenue, Oz's board of directors decided to expand the capacity of the new stadium to at least 30,000 somewhere in the future. The extension will be realized by constructing a second tier to three of the four stands. The main stand with all technical areas, VIP and sponsor and media facilities will remain in place. These plans, however, were put on hold after the DSB bankruptcy and there are no current plans to increase the capacity. In October 2009, sponsor DSB Bank was declared bankrupt. The stadium name temporarily changed from DSB Stadion to Oz Stadion, as it was considered undesirable that the stadium was linked with a non-existent bank. In February 2010, a new main sponsor was found in construction works service provider Buco, based in Beverwalk. A year later, in the 2010-11 season, AFA Software took over as official stadium sponsor. The current external name of the ground is the AFA Stadion. On August 10, 2019, the roof of the stadium partially collapsed. No people were injured during the incident. As the result Oz spent the rest of the year playing home matches at the Cars Jean Stadion in The Hague whilst the damaged roof was being removed before returning to the stadium on December 15, 2019, beating Ajax 1-0 in their first match back. As of August 27, 2020, a new roof is under construction. As Eredivisie results 1976-2009-1 as Alkmaar 54-2 as KFC in the Eerste Klas C, precursor of the Tevetta class in the first year of professional football in the Netherlands. Below is a table with Oz's international results in the past seasons. Below is a table with Oz's domestic results since the introduction of professional football in 1956. The players below had senior international cap for their respective countries. Players whose name is listed represented their countries while playing for Oz and its predecessor Oz' 67. Thanks for watching.